Hello everybody, Saltasu Ren here, and welcome to yet another new sim series I'm doing. While we're waiting on all the mods I usually use to start updating and get fixed and stuff after the latest a huge patch kind of broke basically every mod, I decided I'm going to go mod light for the time being and try and do a save where I just play through all the scenarios in The Sims. So this isn't just gonna be like one massive series, it's gonna be like a whole bunch of like mini series that I do put into one save file. Is basically what the idea is. So I'm gonna be playing through all the different scenarios and for now I'm playing the new in town scenario with Farah here. Now Farah is a sim that was created by the game itself. Uh, she is new in town, if I go ahead and click this. Uh, moving to a new place can be scary, especially if you don't know anyone there, but it can also be a great adventure. Help Farah explore her new home, make some friends, and throw a moving in party that will be the talk of the town. Uh, as reward, you get the Inspired Explorer trait, and a bonus that we don't know about. And potential outcomes are love at first sight, talk of the town, instant friends, great first impression, and welcome newcomer. Which, all of which, pretty interesting outcome. I have already gone ahead and accomplished a couple of the goals, which are to buy a microphone or instrument and buy some decor, which I did as I was trying to furnish the house that I built. I'm not really the best builder, so really what I tried to do is match the general aesthetic of the houses on the street, which I know like aren't necessarily like the best houses, but like for me being a non-builder, it works. It works for me being a non-builder. I, I can do interiors better than I can do exteriors. It's still pretty bare. I'll probably furnish it more as time goes on, but honestly, what we need are just like the essentials, kind of. I've also given Far a bit of a makeover because originally she only had like base game stuff. She was wearing like base game, she had base game hair, base game outfits, base game everything. And I tried to like edit her just a little bit to have stuff from some of the other packs as well. Which honestly, I think she turned out looking really great. Definitely love this outfit on her. Like as soon as I saw this, this particular jacket, I was like, okay, she has to wear this jacket. This hair looks really good on her and all. And just in general, I really love the way that she looks. But, uh, while she's reading right now, that's not exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Right now, she needs to introduce herself to some new sims. To five new sims, to be exact. Which, yeah. it's a, Once we get a little bit later in the day, maybe it'll seem a little bit more appropriate. She's also... Let me, let me just go ahead and introduce ourselves. She wants to be a friend of the world. She wants to introduce herself to ten sims and have three friends. Totally feel that. Except that I would never have the courage to do that. Uh, she is a freelance artist. I've already set up a gig for her to have, and she's already painted a portrait on Sketchpad. Oh, she needs to study reference images. Ah. We'll do that eventually. Uh, she has a little bit of cooking skill and some painting skill, which is going to be pretty vital. She has no relationships with any other Sims quite yet. In her inventory, she just has a Sketchpad and a portrait, which... Does this actually look like a person? Oh dear. Well, I'm sure we can edit it or something. As for her traits, she is an art lover, outgoing, active, and gregarious, which means like she builds friendly relationships much faster. Uh, she wants to get her first promotion. She's got a job. She wants to make a best friend. We are gonna do that in the future. Her favorite colors are blue, pink, and purple. Uh, she likes blues music and pop music, and her, her sk the skills and hobbies she likes are fitness and painting. Speaking of fitness, look at her go, she's already doing sit-ups. We do need to introduce ourselves to some new folks. And you know what, there's a whole bunch of sims who happen to be like wandering on by, so let's go ahead, head on outside, and see if we can meet some new sims. There's quite a few who happen to be passing by, we could probably meet some new sims. Get to know some folks. Uh, let's see, everybody seems to be kind of wandering over here, so it might be a good idea to come and hang out over in this general area. Simba, you're kind of blocking my view of the screen, buddy. 
But yeah, there's a bunch of Sims. Uh, Sachiko Nishidake, uh, Nancy Landgrab, Mila Munch, uh, Dominic Fries. You'll notice that I don't really have much of my usual custom content either, because that is technically mods. I'm trying to go kind of mod light. Bernice! Let's introduce ourselves to Bernice. Let's do a friendly introduction. How about... We're over here. We can go ahead and introduce ourselves. Hello, Bernice. Can we introduce ourselves to you? Bernice? Bernice, please? Hello? No? Um, how about... Uh, Sachiko. No, apparently not. You. Uh, Dominic. We'll do a friendly introduction to you. Welcome to town. Have you visited the park yet? It's so pretty this time of year. Oh, okay. Oh, so apparently apparently during the scenario you get little pop-ups. So have we visited the park yet? It's so pretty this time of year. We have not visited the park yet. But we can continue to socialize with you. And get to know you as well. Apparently, I did not include my usual mod that just autonomously, like, does actual conversation, so I have to manually do conversation. So let's brighten your day, and we can get to know you. Uh, where is... get to know? We can just kind of chat. It might be a good idea. We can talk about art, perhaps? Uh, we can perhaps... enthuse about fitness. And we're getting the we're getting the charisma skill already, and we have a sentiment. Oh, we have, we are close for happy memories. Hey, nice, nice. And Dominic's a music lover. Okay. And that conversation is over. Okay. Well, who are you, Jayla Dukes? Don't know who you are, but let's have a conversation with you, Jayla. Hey, nice to meet you. Can we get to know you? Welcome to town. Have you visited the park yet? It's so pretty this time of year. We should visit the park. Okay, we need to get to know you. Let's talk about the rain, because it is raining. Like, man, can you believe this rain? We can do heartfelt compliment. Uh, let's go ahead and small talk. Get to know, because it is good to get to know someone. Dag dag means goodbye, but I, are you leaving the conversation? Or are you just... All right, talking about the rain. Yeah, the rain is pretty crazy, isn't it? But I mean, it's, oh, it's getting to be a little bit sunnier now. That's nice. Anyways, what are you like? What kind of person are you? Oh, you're a loner. Okay. Yeah, I, I feel that for real, though. We can uh, discuss interests, perhaps? And... Uh, hobbies? Talk about art, perhaps. Oh, and you're feeling tense. Oh no, maybe it's because you're talking to someone you don't know. Okay. After this, I think we'll give you a little bit of space because you don't know who we are. Let's go ahead. We'll talk to Bako Jang over here who should change outfits. My gosh. Bako, dude, buddy, change into a different outfit. There should be a thing that allows you to say like, we're asked to see outfit, right? I want to see if I can find that, like, ask to see cold weather outfit, because it is cold. And rainy and wet. Have a visit the park. No, not yet. I will soon. Let's do a friendly... is it small talk? Ask to see outfit, cold weather. Let's say, be like, oh, like, hey, uh, what are you doing in... You look like you're freezing cold. Why aren't you wearing, like, any warmer outfits? Is basically what we're saying. Like, do you have a jacket you could put on or something? Or... Something that you can do to deal with the cold. We can also fire him up. There we go. That should be much better. And we'll get to know him. And get fired up. There we go. Always works. Always works like a charm. And getting to know Bako. Bako is a goofball. Okay. And conversation is ended there. We're feeling uncomfortable because of the rain, though. Uh, let's see. We still need to introduce ourselves to two more people. Uh, let's go ahead. Marcus Flex is over here. I can tell without having to hover. This is Marcus Flex. Uh, let's go do a friendly introduction. 
to Mr. Marcus Flex over here. I thought you disappeared on me for a second. He's got those AirPods in, my gosh. Hey, Marcus Flex. Yes, yes, everybody's talking about the park. We should probably visit the park soon, shouldn't we? Why is Argue Back Career one of the first things that pops up? Shouldn't be. Enthused about interests? I think we both have an interest in fitness. Uh, we can go ahead. Uh, let's get to know him. Where's Small Talk? There's Small Talk. Uh, what did I click? Ask about career. I don't think I need to say get ask about career. Uh, let's go ahead. Hobbies. Enthused about fitness, at least. <laughs> oh, his AirPods have disappeared on him. Great, great, great. We can just have a chat now. Let's just chat. Yeah, I think that they- I think that it's, she's having a blast getting to know everybody. Kinda wanna get some screenshots at some point, but it's all fine. That was like just a pivot on her heel, okay. Anybody else nearby that you could learn anything about or from? Um, let's head- let's head back in the direction of our house for now. Exercise, let's go! I'm gonna have you just... Head back on over for now. Marcus is doing his own thing. You kind of want to do your own thing. Oh, hello, who's this? Uh, Dennis Kim. You could... You know what? Cancel this. Come chat with Dennis Kim. Might be a good idea. Another friendly introduction to Dennis Kim over here. And you're saying goodbye to Marcus Flex. He's not in our house, is he? Okay, I was a little worried. Baco! This town is so much larger than your neighborhood. You should go exploring. If you want to meet new people, the gym and the bar are great places to check out. If you want some company, let me know you'll check out. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, everybody's saying we should check out the park, to be fair. Then travel to gym or bar. Optional, invite someone to travel. Ooh, you know what? Let's... You know what seems like a good idea? Let's go to the gym with Marcus Flex. Because why not? Why not? Let's go, let's go to the gym with Marcus Flex. I know, we, I know we were just in the middle of a conversation with this guy. I feel kind of bad just bailing on him mid-conversation, but come on, come on. We, we, gotta go, we gotta go to the gym. We gotta go work out. We gotta go... Do lifts or something. I don't know. I don't I don't work out. I don't go to the gym or anything. It's funny how like half the time I play Sims who are like nothing at all like me. At all. And it's just like, yeah, totally. This is this is this is how people like normally do stuff, right? And it's just like I am just winging the whole thing. I have no idea how people actually interact. Alrighty, we have traveled to the gym or bar. We're gonna introduce ourselves to somebody. Uh, there's somebody here. Paparazzi! An optional change to athletic outfit. We'll do that eventually. Uh, let's do a friendly introduction to this paparazzi guy over here, Kazuki Kudo. Love your hair, by the way, Kazuki. Wanna lift, run, punch? Awesome! My gym is the perfect place to get a wicked workout and meet other gym rats. Nothing like an exercise buddy to keep you on top of your game. Okay, I don't think you're actually- I think that you're actually a vet, aren't you? I'm pretty sure I recognize you from the Cats and Dogs pack, but sure. And have you tried this new energy drink, Moonlit Solver? It makes me so pumped I could lift it all- I could lift all night, okay. Optional drink, Moonlit Solver? Instantly removes all negative moodlets from your sim. I'm gonna keep that on me for the time being. Uh, let's tell some jokes. Because why not? Let's tell a joke about penguins. I guess. I don't know. Let's give a pep talk. Let's mix it. Let's mix our stuff in with other stuff. A uh, joke about body hair? Joke about facial hair, I suppose. We're just gonna do a bunch of jokes, I guess. I don't like doing too many funny interactions myself because it causes a lot of problems. 
later down the line, because everybody suddenly starts to die of laughter. Ah, oh, you do not like my jokes? Ah, oh, come on, my jokes are great. Okay, well, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do some working out, I suppose. Uh, you seem like the kind of person who would normally want to go for a run, but alas, all the treadmills are taken. So let's just go ahead and do an energized workout together with Marcus, I suppose, because why not? We can cancel our conversation with Kazuki. Cancel conversation with Kazuki. <laughs> Love that. Anyways, change into your athletic outfit. I like how his idea of an energized workout is just straight up sit ups, which, yeah, fair. And also just hanging out on his phone. Sure, yes, this is totally. This is totally how working out works is you just on your. Why are you on your phone suddenly? Also, we're having a conversation with Nalani now. Okay. Maybe we can get to know Nalani. Get to know the mermaid. That'd be awesome. Okay, somehow everybody just suddenly stopped working out. Everybody's interactions just got cancelled. Uh, I would have liked to have you go on the treadmill, but it looks like that person's about to claim it. We have to we have to continue working out for the rest of the now of the hour. Just doesn't matter if it's not together with everybody else. You just keep doing your stuff. You just keep doing your workout. No matter how difficult it is. You totally got this. Oh, Nalani's here to have another conversation with us, okay. Is this gonna last even an hour? I want it to last an hour. I don't know if it will. Please let this at least last a decent amount of time, though. And it looks like it looks like we've finished our workouts. Now we're just co having conversation with Nalani and Marcus. We can, we can flirt with Nalani, interesting, I like that. It's one of the things that popped up is flirting with Nalani. Interesting. Are we are we into women? Is that a, is that anything I can check from here? I don't know. But if we are, well, I mean it was one of the things that popped up. Uh, let's enthuse about our, in about our interests with Nalani. Uh, we can talk about the cold temperature. I wouldn't just do Okay, flirt is here. We'll just do some minor flirting while we're here. And we have to pee. Okay. That's fine. We can take care of that as well. It'll be fine. And she seems, recipro she seems to reciprocate the little bit of flirting that we've got. Just a little bit of a flirt. Just a little bit. You want to give a massage to Nalani from recent social interactions? My goodness. Let's discuss our interests. I mean, all three of us are here at the gym, so we all must have a in shared interest in fitness, right? Let's compliment her appearance. <laughs> we want to flirt with him, too, my gosh. We'll fire him up. Why not? And we can do a hip bump. And is the treadmill free? <gasps> there is a free treadmill. Let's do... Let's push the limits a little bit. Yeah, Marcus is active. So are we. All right. Oh, uh, no, that treadmill is about to be taken, isn't it? Oh no, no it's not, okay. Okay, you have to, you really have to pee, okay. Um, why don't you also drink the Moodlet Solver? I'm sure that this will fix your need to pee. Will it? Oh goodness. Apparently it did! You know what, if, if your needs are so low that they give you negative Moodlets, just drink the Moodlet Solver and it'll make it so you don't have to go pee. Totally easy. Totally fixes all your problems, it's great. I like the music that this TV is playing. <laughs> Were there roller coasters in The Sims 3? I don't remember roller coasters in The Sims 3. I do remember movie theaters. Except you couldn't go inside of them. This has me so- this has me like wondering like, am I misremembering what Sims 3 was like? Because I can tell by the art style this is all Sims 3. Oh, did somebody turn the TV off? Oh no. 
Okay, we need to reach level two of the fitness skill, and then I think we'll go home. It is getting a little later in the day. But you know what? I think we're doing quite good for ourselves. And, oh, we almost fell. Nalani's chatting with us, though. Oh, and she's feeling flirty. You know what? Let, we could flirt with her a little bit. Let's do a pickup line on her, I think. Can we do a pickup line on her while we're on the treadmill? Oh, nice, nice, nice. And we are feeling titillating banter. Nice, excellent. Okay. Uh, let's get off the treadmill. This is an awkward encounter. You need to leave the conversation. Let's, a let's ask Lilani if she's single. Because why not? Why not? Nalani is, in fact, single. Nice, nice. Let's ask her a risque question. How about... Why are we flirting with a mermaid? Why not? Of course we're flirting with a mermaid. Who wouldn't? And you need to butt out of the conversation over here, Oleana. Yep, there you go. Thank you for not going into our, into our conversation anymore. Uh, let's exchange numbers. And we could do- we could attempt to seduce her. You know what? I'm going all in for this. Why not? Let's do it. Who says romantic interest can't be one of our... Can't be one of our attempts to... We could also... Blow her a kiss, and then we'll probably head home after that. Oh goodness. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That! I was not expecting that! You know what? Good for them! Good for them! I mean, I, I got caught- I'm just as caught off guard as you, but you know what? I am happy for ya! I mean, I'm, I'm the one who pushed you to go for it. Good for you. Good for you. And now we're doing it back. Oh my gosh, okay, that is sweet. And conversation looks like it's ending on its own. So we should probably head home. Can I, like, give you a goodbye, or...? Small talk, is there- is goodbye an option? I don't see it. Yeah, sorry, but hopefully someday we will meet up again. I would love if we could meet up again. Like, genuinely. I would absolutely adore if we could meet up again. So home we go. And we are back. And now, I think it's late enough in the day that we could probably go to bed. Yeah. I mean, all, all your needs are actually taken care of. Oh. Simba, goodness. I think it's- I think we've been recording long enough that we could probably wrap this episode up here. And in the morning, for Farah, we will continue and try to have some friends, visit a neighbor's residence, invite somebody over, and try and reach level two of all these skills, I think, is a good idea. So how about we do that next episode? For now, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this episode. If you enjoyed, please be sure to go ahead, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay safe out there, everybody.